What's up? What's up? What's up? What's going on YouTube? It's the Bowtie Fragrance Guy back with another video and I talk about fragrance and fashion on this channel. This is the channel where fragrance and fashion collide. So if you like looking good and you like smelling great, then I think you're going to enjoy the content here. So I invite you, if you would like to, uh, to hit the subscribe button and also make sure if you do that, that you hit that bell icon as well to ensure you get notified when I upload new content on the channel. So guys, on today's video, we're going to be talking about 10 fragrances in my collection. Uh, what I consider to be 10 of the best fragrances that money can buy that are under the $50 price point. If somebody reached out to me and they said, hey, Bota, I have $50. What fragrance, what one fragrance should I spend my money on? Then if you're that person, then today is going to be your day because I have 10 great recommendations here that I think fit that description. So if you want to know what 10 fragrances made the list of 10 of the best fragrances under the $50 price point that money can buy, you know the routine, man. Keep it locked right here. All right, guys, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's go ahead and jump right into the list today. Now, the first fragrance up on this list, listen, I've talked about this fragrance here recently on the channel. And again, if I only have 50 bucks or if someone only had 50 bucks, I would definitely tell them to invest in this fragrance because it is a great one from the house of Azaro. This is Azaro's Wanted by Night. Wanted by Night. Now, I can't remember what video it was, but I talked about this fragrance here recently on the channel because this fragrance is just good. Bottom line, point blank, in the discussion, it's an amazing fragrance. You get just a little bit of freshness in the opening, a little bit of a fruity accord that comes from mandarin orange. I think bergamot may be in here as well. But again, it's really spicy, warm, and woody. And this thing lasts all day on my skin. So you're gonna get a fragrance that's gonna smell great, uh, in my experience, this is one of those fragrances that really catches people's attention because it performs so well when you get in the presence of people that, are that it's really easy for them to pick it up. So oftentimes I get complimented when I wear this fragrance. And again, at the end of the day, it smells fantastic and it performs magnificently on my skin. So again, if you got 50 bucks, I'm definitely telling you to pick this one up. Azaro Want It By Night because this is an amazing fragrance. All right, guys, the next fragrance on the list, this fragrance comes from the house of Bulgari, and this is Bulgari Man in Black. Bulgari Man in Black, listen, this fragrance blew me away when I first smelled it. For the price that you're going to pay for this, I think it's just really stealing <laughs> that you can get this kind of fragrance for the price point. Now, I know a lot of people in the fragrance community like to talk about uh, Bentley Intense for Men as being a great boozy fragrance that you can get for the price point. And while I agree with that, I would go with this one before I went with that one. If you're looking for an amazing boozy fragrance uh, that you can get for under the $50 price point, I'm more of a fan of this particular DNA. This is warm. Uh, it has benzoin on the dry down, so you start to get that slightly kind of resinous masculine thing that usually that kind of resin brings to a fragrance DNA. But you got some sweetness in here from tonka beans, slightly, a slightly powdery undertone from iris. But man, this thing is just so good, man. It's rich, warm, and spicy. There's some a beautiful melange of spices in this as well. That just makes this a very sophisticated, boozy scent because there's rum in here as well. Sophisticated, boozy, spicy fragrance. And again, just like I said with the first fragrance, it should be a crime that you can get this fragrance for under 50 bucks. So definitely one that I would make, recommend for that under $50 price point from the house of Bulgari. This is called Man in Black. All right, guys, the next fragrance on this list, this one comes from the House of Salvatore Ferragamo, and this is called Aqua Essenziale Blue. Aqua Essenziale Blue. Now, anybody that's been following me for any amount of time, you probably knew that this one was coming uh, because I talk about this fragrance a lot, and again, I just think it's really, really good for what you're going to pay for it. One of the primary reasons I love this fragrance so much is because I'm a huge fan of all iterations of Blue de Chanel. And as you guys probably well know at this point, it's really hard to find Chanel fragrances discounted. So this fragrance does give me vibes of Blue de Chanel. It's not like a, I wouldn't call it a clone, but it will remind you 
uh, of a uh, the Blue de Chanel DNA, uh, but you're not going to have to pay that upwards of $100 price point. This is one that you can find in most places for under 35 bucks. So again, if you like fragrances like Blue de Chanel, Dylan Blue, or either uh, Bulgari Aqua Atlantique, those kind of fragrances, then I'm sure this is one that you will love. An absolute steal for under 50 bucks. So check out from the house of Salvatore Ferragamo. Again, this is Aqua Essenziale Blue. All right, guys, the next fragrance up on the list, this is a classic. And to me, still one of the absolute best fragrances, not only under 50 bucks, but one of the best fragrances in my collection, period. When I go back and revisit it from the house of Dolce & Gabbana, this is Dolce & Gabbana, the one, Eau de Parfum. Still to me, one of the best date night fragrances that you can buy. This, fra this fragrance right here features notes of orange blossom, tobacco, and amber. Again, some people kind of knock it for the performance, but it is what it is. Again, this is one that you can find for under 50 bucks. And at this point, it's become a classic. And for good reason. For under 50 bucks, you're getting a quality fragrance. And again, if you're looking for something under 50 bucks, especially if you want looking for something for more intimate type settings, you cannot go wrong with this stuff. So I would have full confidence in recommending this as one of the best fragrances on the planet for under $50. So check it out for some reason if you have it from the house of Dolce & Gabbana. This is called The One Eau de Parfum. All right guys, the next fragrance on the list, this one comes from the house of Versace. Speaking of this fragrance, this one is called Dylan Blue. Versace Dylan Blue. Now my bottle is all the way down to about here. And that's because I love this fragrance. I remember when I first smelled it, I think it was around 2015 or so when it came out. Uh, around that time, Sauvage came out. Uh, this is another fragrance that used Ambroxan in uh, the base of the fragrance. But this one is a lot uh, sweeter fragrance. I'm really finding out now that I love uh, the note of fig or fig leaf. And this one has a very prominent fig leaf note in the mid of the fragrance. But the, the magic here is really on the dry down, man. You get the incense in here, you get the saffron and the musk combined with the tonka bean. And so of course you get that nice sweetness. This is just an amazing scent. You know, again, this is one that as time passes, you kind of forget about it uh, because it's been out again since like 2015 or 2016. But man, every time I go back to this, I remember why when I first got a sample of it, I said to myself, I definitely need to have a bottle of this in my collection. So definitely one that I would recommend if somebody only has 50 bucks, I would tell them to check out from the house of Versace. This is called Dylan Blue. Guys, the next fragrance up on this list, I've talked a lot about this fragrance over the past, I would say two months or so. Simply one of the best vanilla fragrances that you're gonna find at this price point from the house of Mercedes. This is Mercedes-Benz Club Black. Mercedes-Benz Club Black. It's a little bit boozy, but again, the star player here, as I just said, is the vanilla. So if you are a vanilla fragrance lover, this is one you have to check out. Now, at one point they said this was discontinued, but I've been seeing it pop up again over the past three months or so. So. Uh, just in case it goes missing again, this might be the best time than ever to go ahead and get a bottle of this stuff. So pick it up from the house of Mercedes-Benz. This is Mercedes-Benz Club Black. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and the next fragrance on this list needs absolutely no introduction, so I won't spend a lot of time on it, but hey, I gotta put this on the list, or this list would not be complete. This one comes from the house of Armoff, and this is Club de Nuit Intense Man. Club de Nuit Intense Man, if I were making a list of the, and had these ranked 10, to one, this will probably be number one. Of course, we know what this fragrance, what DNA this fragrance uh, has copied, and they just did a great job doing it. And it makes it so great for people that hear so much about Creed Events, especially when they first start uh, maybe wearing fragrances uh, or getting serious about the hobby of collecting. You hear a lot about Creed Events, and we all know that the price point on Creed Events is very, very high. So when you can get something like this for under 30 bucks, it just makes all the sense in the world. So again, definitely one, I recommend this a lot to folks that are looking for one fragrance and not looking to spend a lot of money. From the house of Armaf, this is Club de Nuit, Intense Man. All right guys, now the next fragrance on the list, this one comes from the house of Versace again, and this is called Versace Man Au Fresh. Versace Man Au Fresh. I love wearing this fragrance in the summertime. It's probably one of my favorite summer designer fragrances in my whole collecting journey that I've ever come across. It's so fresh and it's so clean. And most importantly, this thing is so easy to wear. I would recommend this one because I know a lot of people like fresh fragrances. 
I mean, there are a lot more people in the world that would prefer a nice, clean, fresh scent versus something kind of heavy, rich, and resinous. And if that's the case, this is just a fragrance DNA that you cannot miss with. So I would definitely be confident, you know, recommending this fragrance as one of the best fragrance recommendations that money can buy for under 50 bucks. Check it out, man. Get it in your life if you don't have it yet. From the house of Versace, this is called Versace Mano Fresh. All right, guys, the next fragrance on the list, this one comes from the house of Prada, and this is Prada Luna Rosa Carbon. Prada Luna Rosa Carbon. Look, what I can say about this whole line, this whole line to me is absolutely amazing. Prada Luna Rosa Carbon, Black, The Sport, one of my favorites, The New Ocean, uh, the, the Discontinued Extreme, the original Prada uh, Luna Rosa, all of them are great fragrances. This one got the most attention because, of course, it resembled Dior Sauvage. But, unlike Dior Sauvage, this one can be had for under 50 bucks. Now, I always talk about this when I mention this fragrance. This has a very prominent lavender note that kind of calms down the, the Dior Sauvage kind of DNA. And this stuff is absolutely fantastic. Definitely one that I would recommend. To me, one of the best fragrances that you can buy for under 50 bucks from the house of Prada. Again, this is called Prada Luna Rosa Carbon. All right, guys, and last but not least, the last fragrance on this list, a fragrance that just always pulls in my heartstrings. I love this stuff from the house of Burberry. You guys know what it is. It's Burberry Touch. Burberry Touch. I love this stuff for everything that it is, man. For under 40 bucks, you can get this. It's signature scent worthy. It smells great, and it's just going to get the job done. I cannot think of anybody or many people that would not like somebody wearing a fragrance like this with the way this fragrance is composed in the scent DNA. So definitely, you guys know how I feel about this fragrance. You knew it would probably be on this list and it made it for good reason. So definitely one that I highly recommend all the time for people uh, when they don't have a lot of money to spend. This is one of the best fragrances that money can buy from the house of Burberry. This is called Burberry Touch. All right, guys, that's it. That's my time. I hope you enjoyed this video today as I gave you 10 fragrances in my collection that are the best 10 fragrances under $50 that money can buy. As always, I appreciate your time and your attention to these videos because, of course, I know you don't have to watch, man, but you take a few minutes to check me out, and I sincerely appreciate that. Now, don't forget to take a few moments to like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure you share these videos out to some other folks that you think could use this information or just find it entertaining, whichever one it is works for me because I'm your guy, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good, keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. <laughs> Peace.